Hey you guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? All right, hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. I can't dance, never have been able to. Never will. I was always made fun of as that half black girl with no rhythm. <laughs> Well, that's just the way it is, hunty. So, anyways. Hey, you guys. Hey, girl. Hey. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. You guys, I'm so excited today. Today, you guys, we are going to get into it. I'm going to play with some new makeup products. But the main reason we are here is the newly awaited and highly sought after Profusion Love Struck Palette. For whatever reason, they teased us with it. They did not release it on February 1st. Wouldn't tell any of us why. So, shout out to my homegirl. <laughs> we just gonna call her D <laughs> because she sent it to me. She is also another YouTuber, guys. I'm gonna link her channel up here so you can go check her out. If you have a good sense of humor, she is funny. I mean, hilarious. I love her. She is very kind-hearted, very, very big-hearted. She loves makeup as much as the rest of us. So definitely head on over to her channel and check her out. Girl, when I tell you again, thank you so much, Angel, for sending me this palette. Thank you. Because I could not find it anywhere. Right, you guys. So before we start out with the palette, I am going to go ahead and prime up my face today. And I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum, and it's supposed to be hydrating. A lot of people that I watch on a daily basis are raving about this primer. And at first I was like, I really don't need another primer. And that's basically why I did not pick it up at first. But the way they've been raving about it, and I mean, you look at videos and it's like half gone. I'm like, I gotta try it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with just a pump. And I'm gonna take that all over. I'm actually feeling like I need just a little bit more, so I am going to add another pump of this. Um, before I go any further into it, guys, I apologize. I'm trying to film a little bit differently today, so it's not so long. Um, it says, Primer Serum, hydrating water-based serum formulated with rose water and green tea extract. Love both of those. Um, refines and nourishes as it preps and primes the skin for extended makeup wear. So you do get... 30 mils, which is a full ounce. Comes with the standard dropper. I'll link it down below. Feels really nice on the skin. Very, very nice. All right, you guys, I do not have a new pore primer today. However, um, I did forget to mention some of the new products that I picked up. I just dropped that one. <laughs> picked up a new um, volumizing slash fiber gel brow mascara from Hard Candy, which I'll obviously show you. And then I picked up the Max Pout, the Max Pout Plumping Serum from Hard Candy. Now I use a lot of their um, serum plumping lip glosses, which I love, so I wanted to try this. The only thing different is new packaging. They've repackaged a lot of stuff, so be careful when you're looking at stuff because a lot of it is repackaged. Um, I also picked up the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer. This has peptides and antioxidants. I'm so excited to try this. I'm actually going to get the rest of the collection, but later this month. And then I finally picked up a little trial size of the Laura Mercier Glow um, Loose Setting Powder, because you guys know I love a good glow, but didn't want to commit to buying the full size. <laughs> and then I did pick up this blush because of Juicy Jazz. Hey, girl, hey. Um, she raves about this um, Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Nudist Society, and it looks so pretty when she applied it. So I was like, I gotta try it. I'm not really sure what else is new, but as soon as um, I apply my brows and my pore primer, we will be right back. We're gonna get into this palette. All right, you guys, so now that I have you up a little bit closer, we are gonna get into this Love Struck palette. Now I am gonna point to the shades and I'm probably going to talk a little bit throughout, obviously not too much. There's really not much I can say other than I'm using this shade and we're blending, baby. <laughs> so, um, 
does come with these shades here um, on this little plastic piece. Now the shades are also on the back of the palette as well. Hopefully you guys can see that. And this is again one of their 35 shade palettes. Now you do get eyeshadows in this palette as well as pressed pigments. If you are not familiar with pressed pigments, it will tell you that they are not safe for the immediate eye area. So I can just say, you know, use them at your own discretion. It does list the exact shades in the palette that are pressed pigments. Now I don't usually have any issues where I have staining to the eye. If I do, I always tell you guys. Um, but I don't have any issues using pressed pigments around my immediate eye area. So I am going to still use them. But as you guys can see, super, super gorgeous. Hopefully you can see what I see. And we're just going to get into it. I will insert some swatches as soon as I am done. I just want to mention also, you guys, this is not the um, three looks, one palette video. I promise you, you will see that video soon. I will be filming it today, actually, but you'll see that one soon. So I'm just going to start out with... Oops, sorry, guys. It's hard to show you this the way that it is. So I'm going to start out with this shade here. That was crazy. I had an eyelash about to go in my eye. <laughs> I'm just taking that same shade again, and I'm just using it as a transition. I'm hoping that it's picking up on camera for you guys how pigmented this is. So it's looking like the same formula that we are used to from Profusion, which is a gorgeous formula. And because it is around that time, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, even though this video may not go up tomorrow. I'm hoping it does. Um, but I'm going to do more of a pinky kind of Valentine's look. So I think I'm going to use these two shades right here. This one and this one. They look really pretty. Of course, as always, guys, the shade names will be listed down below. Ooh, do you guys see that? I did bring that all the way in over here. Sometimes I just kind of like that look. I feel like with hooded eyes, sometimes it helps to kind of make your eye look a little bit, you know, like wider, I, if that makes sense. Going into that other shade that I pointed to in the palette. All right, now I'm gonna go in with something a little bit lighter right here. And I'm actually going to mix it with that very first shade that I laid down. Again, these will be in the description box. Just kind of trying to blend the edges of this out a little bit. So these colors are really pretty and everything, but I think I want to deepen this crease up a little bit. So let's see what this palette can do and take this shade here. I'm not going to do anything super funky today, guys. Um, but I might, actually let's take a different brush, I might maybe line my under eye with a funky shade, but I don't want to do like a super funky look. <laughs> Ooh, that is pretty. Purple is so pretty, you guys. I'm going to take it on a thinner kind of brush. Something to get in the crease with. Same shade. It's a really gorgeous shade. So I'm going to take the same flat brush here and I think I'm going to go on the outside, the outer crease, outer V with this one. It looks lighter in the pan than what it actually swatches. So hopefully that'll look pretty. Let's deepen it up just a very tiny bit with this guy right here see what that does and I'm just gonna take a super small brush like this little guy here that looks very 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 pigmented so like not something that I would normally do but I actually kind of like the way that that looks so for shades I'm really torn because we have so many gorgeous shades in here like this guy now, guys, I'm not going to swatch all of these because I would literally have you here all day. <laughs> I promise you that. And then we have this guy right here, which has like a 
blue gray kind of shift to it it's stunning it's so stunning and then we have I don't think I swatched this one yet okay so this one looks like a topper shade this guy right here so that one is a little disappointing if you guys can see that right here now this is two swatches of this one we might use that as an eyeliner or something and then we also have some shades in here as well that remind me of ColourPop, um, some of the shades in the Tati palette, like this guy here. It's a matte with a little bit of glitter in it. But generally, you don't see that glitter when you apply it to the eye, generally. See, some of these are throwing me off, like this guy right here, this purplish color, not the dark one, this one here. Because in the palette, they look like they're going to be a lot deeper, this yeah, this one right here. So, that's why I'm kind of having some problems here. Ooh, what is this? Do you guys... Oh my goodness. Y'all, Profusion done did it again. I am like, what? Let's try this pink out and then I'll stop swatching. <laughs> Maybe do like a bigger arm swatch in a little bit. So that one was kind of powdery, this guy right here, and my hands are super dry, just FYI. Um, we also have some other pinks and golds in here, like we have this blue that I didn't swatch, and we have some beautiful browns. We also have, this is like a really pretty kind of champagne -y gold right here, and then here is a really pretty pink, I hope this is opaque it looks like a topper shade yeah this is gonna be a topper shade come on profusion <laughs> so some of these I have to admit are a little uh, disappointing that's gorgeous all right you guys well, let me I'll wipe my hands off I'll come right back and we're gonna do the lid shade all right you guys we are back and I think I'm gonna go in with this guy right here with either that pink or maybe this kind of champagne color I don't know they're all beautiful so it's really hard to pick <laughs> I'll surprise you <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with the dry brush going into the first shade here and we are gonna have fallout this is a very soft um, pigment I believe this is one of the pigments oh my that is so pretty however this is a shade there we go that should be applied with your finger honey 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 <laughs> listen Linda <laughs> oh you guys I know it's looking a little crazy right now but when I come back the other eye will be finished and then I'm going to also come back with my foundation on. I've been using the Photo Focus Dewy. We're going to get into some face products and we're going to make this look bomb. Mommy, I want some mm. glitter. I want some glitter, Mom. Say hello, everybody. Aww. You don't like the lights, I don't think. But he wants some glitter. Don't go get in your bed and get warm. Come here. You want your bed? Kisses? Oh, I love you too, baby. Go get in your bed and get warm, silly boy. Go get in your bed. He's so crazy. Okay, you guys, so I thought I was still filming, and I put just, like, I took my finger, and I put a little bit of this pink glitter. Hopefully you guys can see that. She is right here. And I just took my smallest finger, like I said, and I just put, like, a small line. I'm going to bring you guys in. Hopefully you guys can see that. Now, I said I wasn't going to get crazy. I don't know what happened. Anyways, let's move into the Neutrogena Radiant Concealer, Radiant Cream Concealer. I picked mine up in the shade Hazelnut, which you guys, make sure you're looking at the shades um, and not just the shade names because this will throw you off. Um, Hazelnut is usually a deeper shade, and in this case, 
it is a medium shade. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys on my other hand because I now have glitter on that one. So this is what hazelnut looks like. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. That is hazelnut. Now, I don't know about y'all, but that don't look like no hazelnut to me. <laughs> so here's what the wand looks like. Just a flat wand, which I love these because they hold a ton of product usually. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off really quickly. And then we're going to dip into this concealer. And then I'm so excited. We're going into the Laura Mercier Glow Translucent Powder. You're going to hear the babies. Nick's fixing their bottles right now for me. Um, yeah, they're hungry. <laughs> Oh yeah, that gives you tons of product right there on one dip. So I'm going to go in with my sponge. And it feels nice and hydrating. Sorry if you guys hear Bubba, he's cleaning himself. Hey baby, you got to do that right now. Y'all, he stopped and went right back to it. <laughs> Okay, so not a ton of coverage. Let me fix my camera. Hopefully that fixed it. So not a ton of coverage, you guys. You're going to have to build this one up. Actually, here, I'll do it for you. I'm going to do a second layer because I did not get a ton of coverage, which I think is kind of cray-cray. So I'm going to go in with a brush this time and see if it helps. Okay, so that's a little bit better. So I did two... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry about the lighting. I don't know what's going on. I know I look crazy, but I can't help it. Um, I'm still trying to work with my lighting, so I apologize. Okay, so I do like that it gave me more coverage, but what I don't like is that I feel like it looks a little heavy now. So I'm going to go in with my sponge and just kind of try to pick up a little bit of that product. It's not bad. Um, do I think you need to rush right out and get it? Probably not unless you're looking for a lighter coverage. Now, I don't see anything on here where it claims to be full coverage or anything. Um, we'll read about it just in a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes. I'll come back. And after I apply my under eye powder, we're going to do the Laura Mercier powder. Y'all, that wet and wild powder is no joke. All right. So I'm going to grab a, I'm just going to grab this little guy right here. <laughs> this is one of my Jessup brushes. It's their powder brush, nice and soft. And I'm going to go in with this little guy here. Now I picked this one up because Laura Mercier is a little expensive and there goes my lighting again. Um, Laura Mercier is a little expensive and I don't want to spend $40 on it unless I know that I'm going to love it and the reason for that is is because I have so many beautiful glowy setting powders that I have found over the past year and I'm just like if I'm not gonna love it I don't want to even have to deal with the hassle of returning it so I'm going to actually I'm gonna put a little bit in here so I can show it to you guys it's super finely milled but what I'm going to apply, I'm actually going to put right here on this little mat that I have on my table. Otherwise, I am going to have a heck of a time getting this out of this um, cap here with this brush. So here's what it looks like. And you can tell that it has a bit of a glow to it right there. And here we go, y'all. Wish me luck. Okay, I can kind of see. Oh my gosh, what is going on? I look like a ghost because of my lighting. Um, I can kind of see the glow that people were talking about when they were applying this. And it's pretty because it doesn't look like it has shimmer in it, like a lot of glowy powders, which I appreciate because I don't like shimmer in my powders. I just think it looks really unnatural. I think we fixed the lighting as best as I can right now. And it's making me look like a ghost. I'm sorry, guys. So right here, if you see any kind of sparkle, it's the glitter that fell off my eyes um, while I was applying it. 
This powder is pretty, and what I like about it is it's not heavy. Like, I see the, sh the glow of it, but I don't feel like it's on my skin, if you know what I mean. I did go in with a very, very light layer of my foundation today. I've been trying to kind of test going out with, or going in with less and using a concealer like I would in the olden days instead of layering and layering and layering because I'm noticing that it's really starting to accentuate my laugh lines more and I don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead apply my bronzer and when I come back we're going to get into this Nudist Society as well as um, After Sex Glow by Wet n Wild. Alright you guys, so we're going to dip into a Wet n Wild Nudist Society. I'm just using a Profusion Angled Powder. This is their PD3 brush. Not used this one yet. Okay, that is pretty. This is a blush that I would wear more on one of like my no makeup makeup days. Especially on my skin tone, lighter skin tones, this is going to show up a little bit better. And it's just going to be like a, the perfect peachy pink in my opinion. And it'll be really pretty. Now I do want to show you guys, this does have some shimmer in it. I hope you guys can see that. So just FYI, it is very, very pretty though. It's just really hard for me to get shades like this to show up on my skin tone. I mean, there's a swatch of it, and I don't even think you guys can see it, so. All right, moving in to the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Blusher Highlighter. I'm going to take this shade here and try it out as a highlighter. Quickly, I will swatch the other side for you. Ooh. That is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that is very, 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 very pretty. <laughs> so, but I'm going to go into this side and try it. As always, they don't disappoint. <laughs> very, very, very pretty. Um, I'm going to try a little bit of the other side because, I mean, I'm not going anywhere, so why not? That's very pretty. Even mixed together, very pretty. Oh, wow. I really dipped in there. But y'all know me, I love to glow, so. <laughs> then if you get too much, just take a clean side of your sponge. Or if it looks like a stripe, and then just kind of press it. And it really just helps press it into the skin so you don't look all kinds of crazy. But, y'all, that is nice. I feel like I'm bling blinging. So really quickly, I am going to finish these um, eyes off and then I'm going to go off camera and finish everything else and then when I come back we're gonna test out this plumping serum and see if she any good and if it don't tingle it ain't no good it gotta tingle <laughs> all right ladies and gents so for the inner corner I'm going in with the shade right here it's kind of like a topper shade um, so I'm thinking that it'll look pretty in the inner corner. It's kind of got like an iridescence to it as well. Oh yeah. I mean, to me it just goes with the rest of my crazy look that I said I wasn't going to get crazy with. But I just saw these colors, you guys. And oh my goodness. Actually, let's take this guy right here. And I'm going to add that because that looks really pretty. This is what it looks like. That is gorgeous. You guys, all I'm going to do to the under eye is take this deeper shade right here. I'm going to add it to the under eye and call it one. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. Now, I did say we were going to use that um, serum plumper. I decided to save it for the next video just because I don't feel like I needed it. So really quickly, I'm going to let you guys know everything that I went in on my face with. And then we're going to discuss everything. So the things that I used off camera were the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation, which I've been loving. I used my L'Oreal Voluminous Base, the mascara primer. 
even though you don't need it for the AOA Studio Fat Lash Mascara, this is one of the best $1 mascaras. If you guys haven't seen that video where I raved about this and used it in a video, I will link it up here for you. I also went in with my CYO Bronzing Powder in When the Sun Don't Shine. And then for lipstick, I used this, I think this is a little Amuse one that I got from Always Me. Um, I will try to find the color and link it below, but it's just this little like nudish colored lipstick. It's really pretty, really comfy on the lips. And then over top that, I went in, I'm still finishing up this little buxom lip gloss in Celestial. It's one of my faves. And then I went in with the um, L'Oreal Age Perfect Lum Satin Glide Eyeliner in Deep Brown or Brown. I think it's brown. And then I also used a LA Colors Lip Liner in Rose Brown as a lip liner. And then, so, the new products that I tested out. First and foremost, this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Serum Primer is really, really nice. It is very hydrating, and it just felt so nice on my skin. Now, do I think that it is a game changer? I really don't know yet. Um, I'm going to have to use it for a little bit longer and let you guys know. Based off of first impressions, so far, I would purchase it again. It's really, really nice, and it actually kind of gives me Laura Mercier vibes. You guys know I like the Hydrating Foundation Primer by Laura Mercier, and to me, this felt like the liquid form of that, if that makes sense. Really, really nice. The Radiant Cream Concealer by Neutrogena. I want to play with this a little bit longer um, with some other foundations as well as some skin tints and like tinted moisturizers because I want to see if this is actually a no makeup makeup concealer or if it is supposed to give a little bit of added coverage. I really don't know much about it guys. I just saw online that it was coming out um, and I saw it in the drugstore so I picked it up. So... This Laura Mercier Glow Powder, so far so good. I am enjoying it. Um, again, I don't feel this on the face, and I don't feel like it's overly glowy with like shimmers like a lot of powders are. So I do think that this so far, based off of first impressions, is definitely something that I would purchase the full size of, and I'm just keeping it real. I do a lot of affordable makeup on my channel, guys, but you still know that I do enjoy a lot of high-end makeup. Um, let's see here. The Wet n Wild blush. I do like this, but for me and my skin tone being a little bit deeper, I think that this is going to be a blush that I would more so wear on no makeup makeup days. You know, when I put on like a really light foundation and then a little bit of blush, mascara, and lip gloss and out the door, that is what I would use this for. So if you're my shade or deeper, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? But I, it is a pretty blush. Just do keep in mind that this does have shimmer in it. It is not completely matte. Now, this highlighter, y'all, no joke. I really want to pick up all of these now. This is so pretty. And this is not one of those, you know, natural highlights. This is going to be some bam, boom, hey girls, I'm here. Hey girl, hey, okay? <laughs> now, this is really, really gorgeous. I did play with both sides for you guys. Um, I don't feel like it emphasized a ton of texture, so I do appreciate that, but this is an in-your-face, I'm here, what's up highlight, so really, really enjoy that. Oops, for my pore primer, you guys know I am trying to use this up, this is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Primer. It's not that I don't love it, because I do, and this tube lasts a very long time, but I've had it for a little while, I don't want it to go bad, because as you guys know, if you don't, this thing's like 20 bucks. <laughs> but it's worth it. All right, so moving into the main reason we are here, the Profusion Love Struck Palette. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. There are several shades in this palette upon first impression that I find to be a little disappointing. And it's more so this shade here, this shade down here, and these shades that look like they're going to be super opaque and then they're like this. Because upon first glance and watching this palette, um, you know, until it released, or I will say until I was able to get it in my hands, I thought these were going to be super opaque. And I wasn't expecting them to be, you know, lid toppers. And so to me that was disappointing because there's one, two, three, 
four of those shades in here and when you look at them that's not what you're wanting as a shade or a lid topper um there are three glitters in this palette they are absolutely gorgeous as you guys know i did play with this beautiful pink glitter here it is absolutely stunning you do not need a glitter glue with these pressed glitters if you're somebody like me that enjoys playing with glitters they're absolutely beautiful um it is the same gorgeous um creamy blendable pigmented formula that we have all my phone rang and it made me jump <laughs> So it is the same beautiful formula from Profusion that we are used to and that we love. That's really creamy and blendable and pigmented and lasts a long time. Again, it's just those few shades that were a little disappointed. So if you enjoy this color story as much as I do, it's purples, pinks, golds. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful and I highly, highly recommend it. I'm happy to have it in my collection. I just will hope that next time they make a palette that they don't make so many shade toppers just you know unless you're into that if you're into that you will absolutely love this palette it's just me i'm an opaque girl i like that bam so i did kind of go a little overboard with the look today guys i was trying to do something a little more natural but i absolutely had a lot of fun creating this look i hope that you guys enjoyed it um if you follow me on instagram and you purchase anything that i recommend and you recreate a look that i do please show me because or tag me in it so i can see it if you post it a lot of you have left me comments recently that you're playing with more and more color now which i'm so so excited that you guys are but i want to see some of your looks don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone you've already made the first stop in creating those looks share them with us share them with the world guys don't be afraid to play with makeup and create what you create it's your art girl and nobody can tell you that it doesn't look good because look bye hater <laughs> All right, you guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. As always, thank you guys so, so much for clicking on another one of my videos and coming to hang out with me. It means so much to me that you guys spend your time with me. You guys have no idea. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. If you are new here, hey girl, hey, what is up? My name is Tosh. I hope that before you leave today, you will hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell so that you're notified anytime I upload don't have an upload schedule but it's usually about every three days <laughs> oh also you guys the three looks in one palette is coming so just be patient with me pretty pretty please i'm gonna actually film that over a course of three days if you saw my mini palette you guys know that that killed my eyes so lesson learned i'm going to film three looks in one palette for you guys so that video will be coming shortly i will see you guys in the next one bye